Hello everyone, I'm Syndicate Straffer, and I'm here with D&D &D 5e. On Roll20, of course. Now, here's the thing. I was, uh, as I was making my Goblin Artificer, I, uh, I came across something, right? Which was the equipment. Now, of course, I got my whole little equipment here. I've already played a tiny bit. Um, mostly just Assassin's Zero. But, one thing I found was that uh, some of this equipment costs five elephants or a thousand gold pieces specifically a spyglass if I can find it real quick right here spyglass one thousand gold pieces they are saying that the uh, telescope used to find land on ships costs a thousand gold pieces five elephants cost two hundred piece or 1,000 gold pieces and can do so much more than a spyglass. Now I'm certain this video has been done, this kind of video looking at the equipment and the crazy costs has been done a thousand times. But I would like to look through some of this equipment and revamp it. And I'll give reasoning as to why I'm revamping it this way and doing all this sort of stuff. So to begin with what I will look at first was poison kits. 100 gold pieces for poison and 50 gold pieces to counter that poison. Okay, so right off the bat, poison damage is like 2d6 damage, right? You can get a first level spell, pay maybe like a copper piece for the equipment to make it to for the component for the components, and bam, you're casting a 2d6 scorching ray or whatever, right? Or I think it wasn't a shatter. 2d6 if I'm correct. So how do you fix that? Well, uh, make it like five gold pieces. That way it's actually worthwhile. And make the antitoxin again that you know what beats the count is poison and the spider's poison and all those little diseases. You know you have so many cleric spells that it says fuck your disease. The antitoxin may make it like what? It's ten gold pieces, right? <clears throat> Next up. Was another thing, a book, a plain old book made of leather and paper, costs twenty-five gold pieces, and a spell book costs fifty. So you can either buy two books, or you can buy one book that allows you to become a wizard. Wow, that's uh, that's not important. Even more so, wizards, from my experience, are at all times protecting the little precious little spell books because the second they lose their spell book, they can't cast spells. So what I say, I would raise the spell book to 100 gold pieces, because it has magical paper using magical ink. And I would make a book itself probably raise down to maybe like 5, maybe even just 3, because it's a book. What are you going to do with a book? You're going to write in it. What are you going to write in it? Uh, the Adventures of Calvin and Hobbes. I don't know why I thought of that book, but still. Next up, we have, I believe, the magnifying glass at 100 gold pieces. I am paying half an elephant and also one eighth of an elephant to buy an hourglass, you know, this thing I have at my home, which I bought for ten dollars, or a magnifying glass, you know, the little thing you see you know those little things you see in all your science classes everywhere. I would honestly make a magnifying glass probably cost close to fifteen gold pieces and maybe an hourglass cost maybe five or as much as the scales cost. If I can find those, these scales, I did not see them. They're somewhere here. The scale of merchants, like five gold pieces. I would probably make it that cheap. Also, um, there's also silk rope and hempen rope here, which I, I haven't really seen a difference between the two, other than my silk rope is always being burned. So, uh, I would probably recommend, you know, making the silk rope decrease, because rope is not that, rope is the most important thing in the world. So that's, that's those stuff. I'd also probably, uh, I would also, and for the spyglass, a thousand gold to see a distant land. That, 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 that is, I can buy a ship with a thousand gold. I think for just three, if it just be, I could buy, for like ten of those, for like thirty spyglasses, I can buy a galley. Or I can buy a long ship, you know, like a boat meant for like actually sailing. I can buy a sailing ship for 10 gold, for like, 
It's just why. So a spyglass, I I would honestly lower this to probably ten, maybe fifteen gold pieces, because to me that just makes a lot more sense. It, does it make any sense as to why it's costing a thousand gold pieces for a spyglass? It's, it's ridiculous. I could even uh, I would also make an argument for some other equipment. Uh, a crossbow. Wizards of the Coast, uh, I think you should try to test how much damage a crossbow can do at closer range. Uh, why do I have to be 80 feet from someone to fire a crossbow? Hell, why does a crossbow even shoot like you? Yeah, I know. That makes sense. Either way, like, I have to be 80 feet away from you for my crossbow to work. Have you seen what a crossbow does? It's, it's like a gun, but with bolts. And it takes a long ass time to reload. For the D&D &D game I'm in, we've lowered this to 10 feet with the crossbows and the daggers, how far they can be thrown, that kind of stuff. To make it so it's actually worthwhile to use. You're not having to sit here like, I'm going to sit here 20 feet away from you and throw my dagger. Because try, try throwing a dagger at someone that's torn. Try throwing something that's like someone who is like 60 feet away and not be a baseball player. Uh, yeah. So that's, that's what I find. And then also a plate mill... And your half plate is ridiculous, in my opinion, uh, as well as the wrist plate. Because I'm sitting here, 400 gold pieces for 14 plus my dex modifier. Meaning I can have at most uh, 16 AC. I can pay 75 gold pieces with a chain metal shirt. While well, right, I pay 400 gold pieces and also hope my dex modifier is higher. So I can have advantage on, so I can have normal stealth? No. I, 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 no. I would honestly put the best plate closer to maybe 75 gold pieces. And the same goes with the half plate too. It's like 750, I'm getting 17 on my stealth. I can just buy splint for 200 and get the same thing. Because it still has me requiring disadvantage, and I mean, uh, 17, 17, 17 maximum, 17 maximum. And that's assuming you decided to spend points in dexterity, and most likely if you're getting like a 17 in AC, you're probably on the front lines with a sword. Maybe you're the guy who decided to sit in the back with the bow, but I mean, still... And doesn't even give you so 750. I would honestly lower that to maybe 150 because it kind of requires you to have a higher dexterity. I would also plate mill at 1500 gold pieces. Come on, I can just buy seven elephants. That gives me an AC of 3000 because the elephants get shot, not me. And even more so, the elephants can trample. They can just. Whatever the elephants sound bit be. Why would I pay fifteen hundred? I would honestly, because of all the things, this has the highest AC. I have yet to see anything get me to seventeen AC. I would probably cost this to five hundred gold pieces, not fifteen hundred. Well, just, could you just do the same argument with the uh, two elephants, some liquor strapper? Probably, yeah, but it's not fifteen hundred gold pieces of that, at least. Oh, I'd even settle for three hundred or maybe four hundred. Up to you. Ask your DM. I would honestly ask your DM about some of these gold prices. Like I'm asking my DM eventually, because some of this stuff is kind of ridiculous that I'm gonna be paying full plate mail to just get that one higher AC than any other class. But yeah, that that's sort of the basics of what I was looking at with all this thing, with all this this stuff. I'm also going to make the best argument that ink is the best material in the game. You can fight me, but tell me, can you write out a full length letter? No, you can't because you have an intelligence score of 3 and my intelligence score is uh, 16. Have a good day everyone. And enjoy your D&D &D games.